Well, I think this is the most difficult thing to do, Dave, to be honest. Because this is one of those things where you're not, until it's finished, you're not making headway. It's all little bits and pieces. It's all a little touch of this and a little touch of that. So the actual massive jobs um, that make, you know, that you see make big differences. Right. Because we're sticking three sets of model railway together, mm. There's no real big things to do. Right. So the biggest job is this section here, which, as you can see, this was Killsby Tunnel. We've halved it. Right. So we've had to scenify this to meet to meet uh, making tracks two, uh, three. This is for making tracks two. So this is the area where you, s you match the lines up. Yeah. So in, in some respects, it, it's, it's fiddly work. Right. Um, rather than sort of big works that people like to watch. But the truth is, of course, it, it's, this is the most important part. But you, know, you don't really get to see big changes. You know, I mean, a little bit of grass here, a clump here, a clump there. Right. Is, is no big deal to, you know, to somebody watching this, this video. But... If you were to time lapse it and then see it all together, it then looks different. Um, so we're seeing creep at the moment in change rather than a big a big bang. Yeah, I mean today by the end of today, this new tunnel will be installed. Stow tunnel's already installed. I've just got to match the two together around here and finish off the back here. Then we've already built this. I've just got to build the road. Right. This piece, Aaron's working on the catenary at the minute to, mm. to, to match it up. But the um, I've actually done all this. You can't see it because because we, we're putting the what's the the um, tensioners in. But luckily, I've done all this. this. Now that was that's a lot of work on that board. Right. So it's take it took me two days just to do that piece. Is this the piece that had the houses on it? No, no. That's this is the piece over here. So. The house piece exists at that stage, but right. this is the new piece. You can see there's a lot of work gone onto this, because this is a motor. This is the M45, so it's a two-lane motorway with a hard shoulder. Right. Central reservation. There's a massive, massive, massive air vent here for the for Kilsby Tunnel. Right. And a smaller one on this side. So you know, there's like five or six different sorts of grass on this and bushes and that so there's a, you know when you sit like this it, it, you just go well it's just a road but there's actually a lot of work in it um, when it's missing it doesn't look right because you've got you've got bushes on either side but there's nothing in between yes. so that's what I'm saying it's hard to you know to, to today for you to see the whole vista of what it looks like but when you put it in it marries together yes. and, and that, I'll, I'll show you something which is purely by accident by the way I'm not going to claim any design of this. Oh, I claim it, Pete. I'm sure you get away with it. No, no, no. I'm not going to claim it. Purely by chance, we've got two fantastic curves that, you know, transition curves. Right. That are just fantastic. Just, again, when I planned it, because you were joining two boards together, mm -hmm that had never been together before. So obviously when we came back from making tracks three, I had to put making tracks two to it to, 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 to match this. But if you look up there, what you get is a fantastic, a fantastic curve up on both sides. And that's because you're, having to, you're matching one with the other, but it's, it's a lovely natural curve. Mm. See, well, you can, at the minute you see into the tunnel, which you won't obviously see into the tunnel when the, right. when the top's on, but... Yeah, well, it's opening out the track, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. You know, I mean, that's that's what main lines are all about, which is you know, what we always face as modellers is the curve problem. You know, the natural, the railway... We want to squeeze it in fast. Well, yeah, and, and of well, course... we have to. Yeah, and of course the railway is a series of curves, particularly mm. in Britain, mm. but they're gentle curves. Mm. I mean gentle to the, I mean, you know, by our 
standards, they're huge, but by their standards, they're quite tight. Some of these curves. Yes. But we've, you know, we can, we're down to four foot five. So I mean, some people use two foot six radius. Well, no, no railway engine could get around two foot six radius. Right. You know, it's just not possible. So you're always fighting that curve. I mean, you know, we we we'd have liked to have used long points, you know, long yes. angle point, but you you can't get them. Right. So the whole point of the Pico it's off the shelf track. Yes, yeah, off the shelf yeah. track that anybody could use. So you know, and I'm doubt if anybody but a few people would want long radius points, mm. but long. I mean. We would never use medium to short wave, if, uh, short range if if you had a choice. But you know, you got to look at Pico's point, Pico's point of view. How many people want long turnouts? Mm. There ain't enough to make it worthwhile no. them making them. No. So you just got to, you know, say, well, that's one of the compromises you have to make. But when you see a curve like that, which you can imagine a pendolino leaning into that and going through mm. the tunnel, it'll look it'll look fantastic. That's you know, that's what you're always after as a model, isn't it? Mm. Yes. You're, you're, you're technically minded enough to whiz through that. Yeah, it's just a question of... Um, what it's you're whether it'll connect to that system. Yeah. That's the only... Book. I think it's wrong, the fact that they, you can't... They can't give you an update for the different systems. Well, they can. Could they're just charging for it. It's a lot of money, though. Um, Not 800 quid. Um, what? What for an update? Yeah. Train control of gold. Oh, oh. For train control, yeah, it's it's probably it. more actually. Thousand dollars, I think it's something. Like it's a bit yeah. like it depends where you buy it from. And it says that I was reading on the internet yesterday. I, I, I could go out to see whether that Z twenty one had run with that version seven because that's two thousand and sixteen, mm. and it's not in it, <coughs> right? But it says if you bought nine version nine, you still got to pay to update to version ten. It doesn't tell you what the difference is. Oh, That's putting true. Microsoft to shame when they want to rip you off from certain. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you, <laughs> and not, you know, because there won't be that much difference. I looked at the manual of ten, and it's the same. It's practically the same as on seven. So you're paying for this big bug you've got. Mm -hmm. At least that my software updates are free. Yeah, well you probably. I can't say what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> say it like you mean it, Dave. No, no, no. You're not recording, are you? Yeah. No, no, not recording. <laughs> Sorry, no. no, no, no recording going on here. <laughs> oh, it is. Nice, I like that. That's what they do, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, see what play. He sees it as well, the, the diagrams. Yeah. Well, there's, there's train controller, eye trains, rock rail. You've got to pay for them, haven't you? No, rock, rock, rock rail's free. Um, Jeremy Ryan. It's really going to be limited, isn't it, what you can do with it? Well, it's not that it's limited, it's the... Um, oh, it's it's not, it's 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 yeah. Easy yeah, the UI. Speed of deployment. Yeah, user interface. Yeah. But there's more lines of code you've got to understand for them to work, rather than just get a nice button. Oh, mm. huh? yeah. 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 Got some more biscuits. So you're just adding one booster, Phil? Oh, I didn't even come before. Adding a second booster. Oh. Yeah, on offer and Just stands. in case. It's a cheap redundancy, just in case. Are you doing left side, right side? Split or tracks two and three was, and one and two? Mm -hmm. Three and four. I was going to do fiddle yard split in half mm -hmm. and then somewhere on the seat side. Right. Because I think they'll need it. I don't think we will, to be honest. It's just. Belt and braces. Yeah, it's a long way right. to go. No point. And then. And how many mm -hmm. trains are going to be running at once? Mm -hmm. We've got to be in many more than we've got now. It'll just be, we plug it all in, and it's Thursday night. Oh, look, it doesn't work, we yeah, need a booster. Yeah. Where are we going to get a booster for tomorrow from? Yeah. Well, Thursday night, you've got a chance on Friday. <laughs> Only a chance. Only a chance. So. You know, if you've got to put them in, the biscuit thing with all your biscuits. Yeah. Oh, the biscuits were soft. Do they? Yeah. Well, yes. Well, yeah, got, yeah. I've never had a pack open long enough. <laughs> 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 That's new territory for me. Yeah. <laughs> Challenge. How long does it take? Our biscuit tin's full of the ones I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> and they are all soggy. <laughs> yeah, but they all get eaten in the end. <laughs> yeah, we'll just wait really till we get to it uh, Blakemere. Until we plug it all in. I've got somewhere to play with it. If you're looking at um, JMRI. Yes, that's my least favourite of the bunch. Okay. 
What do the others do that you want? <coughs> you like? All of it and none of it. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is just try the shuffle. Right. And then being able to manually override them is the most important bit. Is any software coming to the forefront that makes that really easy? Hmm? I haven't looked at them. Oh, okay, right. The two are done, Milton Keynes. Yeah. I'm not worried about any of it. What is it? Two weeks in a bit now? Four. Four. No, Four weeks. Weeks. three in a bit, aren't it? Okay. We are all going at the same time. We'll be backing up uh, later on. <laughs> <laughs> about three weeks. <laughs> it's the 14th and 15th of October. We go down on the Wednesday. 11th. Right. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Sounds about Wednesday. I'm going to have to check my calendar now. Yeah, we go down on the 11th. It's now the 17th. So it's one. Just under a month. Three weeks on Wednesday we go now. Jesus. Right, isn't it? Yeah. We've been off fun though, aren't we? Hey, enjoy yourselves. The most important thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, you can't for the first couple of hours. You've got to make sure everything's working. Oh, no, it's easy because we just leave it to Bill. <laughs> yeah, he's more <laughs> bugger off to the pub. Yeah, you know, that for you, Dave. Why is that? You're not coming to the Wednesday, aren't you? I am just, I am there to film. You've been filming all the stress parts. If the lion <coughs> is eating its young, my job is to document it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get in at all on the Wednesday? Or no. 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 So we're just no, travelling down. And no, because they're higher in the hall. An extra day just for us. From Thursday morning. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. We can, okay. we can. Mike's aiming to get us in from nine o'clock on Thursday morning. Thursday morning. That's good. I'm setting off Thursday morning early. Are you still running all the 12 volt power down the twisted pair cable? No. So I run the twisted power through the Ethernet plugs for yes. the 20, 200 mil long ones. Yeah. But power isn't run down the Ethernet. Okay. Um, but we've got effectively three power supplies in the front. Okay. For the, for the little, the various boards. Yeah. I've implemented a new protocol. I actually finished, well, testing it this morning, <coughs> um, which may or may not be of interest to you. Um, you know when the boards boot, it's a free fall. Everyone goes, hi, what have you got? And all the boards dump the data on the network as to how mm -hmm. they're set. And if you boot a little bit later, you miss it. Mm -hmm. So I've implemented on the IO32, and it'll be back to the panel. It's dead easy, it's only one packet. A, I've called it a start of day, but it's really a how are you set, because you don't record it. It just dumps the data. So you press the button, and it sends a probe on the network which every board just returns its presence, mm -hmm. and it builds a list of can IDs, and it has two seconds to make a can ID list. No, you, 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 after two seconds, it times out, and then it, it can query each board on an individual basis to ask how its ports are set. Each packet that's returned has a 10 millisecond gap to allow Arduinos to keep up. It's not that the Arduinos can't keep up, it's the can shield that can't keep up. And the can shield is on the other end. So whatever that. So so I've gapped it appropriately. So it so if you've got at the moment my <coughs> test rig is ten boards, so it'll it'll go to each board in turn and go, what have you got? What have you got? And you can see it on the network monitor it's working really well. And that's gonna get backported to all the other boards shortly. Uh, but for you the most important is the servo driver. Yes, which I don't care about. Okay, fair enough. Because you don't need <coughs> the status, no. do you? All right. I don't care what the servo's doing, right. it's doing as it's told, not not as yes. stored, yeah. Um, same with the relays. I just reset them all the time. Okay. But I've got bigger and bigger customers um, that need that functionality. Yeah, yeah. If you weren't using the Arduinos, yeah. it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But because the Arduinos are controlling everything. Yeah. You could just force it to yes. whatever. Does anyone else understand? <laughs> no, I'm bleeding yes. words. No. You know what? I'm just sitting here thinking, yeah. what the hell are we talking about here? Yeah. Lost everybody. It's the data packet information. Straight on yeah. the fucking the thing thing IT. So, all it's doing is just sending numbers around the network yeah. in packets. When you power everything on, everything says, I am this board, this is what my state is, and floods the network. It's a bit like Dave. When you plug him in, he goes, I am Dave. That's it. I am whatever. I, I am Groot. You haven't seen that one. No, we haven't. Oh. It's the best one. Is Groot's it? a plank of wood, basically. It's um, not. It's, it's a tree. A tree. Oh. It's a, it's a plank of wood in waiting. What? It's Groot. A root is in. Groot. Voiced by, what's his face? Vin Diesel. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting confused. Oh.
voiced. Does he speak? He does. Yeah. yeah all he ever says is I am Groot. But yeah. Vin Diesel does it all the languages as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, when you turn it all on, everything gets flooded, and then you start missing stuff. That's all Dave does, but delay in, effectively, so it doesn't flood straight away. Everybody waits in turn to say, here I am, that's what I'm doing. The strategy here goes to end, like, to like, put it out. Yeah. But, for, for simple network, small systems, <coughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But for the bigger stuff, or when you want a positive, synchronise everything, press the button. And it can be anybody, you just assign it's it. It's the same as what we had on last year. Effectively, they've got a game, yeah. 65,000, whatever. Yeah. It's a bit more robust now. Oh, it works okay. It's dumping on the network is fine, the network can take it, but the, the boards that have to decode it and process it can't always keep up. Mm. Mostly the little Arduinos with eight bits and they run at 16 meg. And they've only got they two. Oh, two mine, mine 300 meg. And only two message buffer, that's the killer. ESP instead of the uh, software buffer. Yeah. Don't Anybody that understands this Don't worry about shouldn't it. be watching us. Don't worry about it. Wrong channel. <laughs> Wrong channel. <laughs> anyway, trains. Nerds are us. <laughs> the microphone's just here for you. Oh, you right. Don't, you don't need to shout at the no, camera. No, looking at the camera. <laughs> Not on anyway. You don't have to understand it, but if it doesn't work, you'll be the first to complain. Yes. yes. <laughs> it, it makes it so much easier when we're there. Just plug it all in and it yeah. works. Yeah. My phone updated last night, right? Flattened my battery. That's why they say it should be fully charged before you update. Yeah. No, it was. But in the night, I've gone up, gone up, I've obviously knocked the lead out. Well, Apple just works, you know. Uh, well, the thing is, you can look at the trees. <laughs> PFA, what's yeah. that stand for? Pull the ice fuel off. Huh? Pull the ice fuel off. Pulverized fuel ash. 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 Pulverized fuel ash. That's what PFA used to stand for. But it's quite low, the wheels come up so far. So it's great, but I need, <coughs> I need one. Yeah, now it can't be that because that's, that's the old fly ash, isn't it? That's what they used to check for making film like what? So <laughs> have we got one I can have? Just the wagon? Have a look. I don't, know. I don't know. Well, I eat one, Dave. I need to. I need my own. Then I can mod it for my own camera thing. Photos. Where have they gone? I don't know if you have. Oh, it's so one of them. It's the Carwoods thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they took Show me. with them. I'm just getting the picture up. Hang on, I've lost it. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. the little Carwoods um, cold containers. Oh, right. That's the yeah. specific one that I tried. Pete. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll get you one of them. If not, I'll buy one. But the thing is, I've got to buy you. No, they set. sell them in three. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why I asked Richard if he had one, just the wagon, and don't need the container. But I need it beforehand because I just want to modify it slightly for me, uh, for me ride along camera. And it's it's about four millimeters, three millimeters lower than the last one I used, which I'd like to intercept the um, station platform. Yes. With. I must say, Phil, it's remarkably robust. Your it bounced uh, well, didn't it? Does. Talk, talk about John did notice it. On the video. On oh, the out the outtakes the Yes, papers. It was not a first happy. <laughs> I've um, I've made a career, I think, but videoing things that people don't like. Yeah. No, it's so well. I'm saying what thought it took. If I'm honest That was the only crash it had. Yeah. If I'm honest, I enjoyed this layout more this year than previous years. Well yeah, it's it's the same but different. Well, there was a bit more to do on the front in that I had some choices I could make. Mm. Uh, with the bi-directional line. I think your implementation of the bi-directional line was flawless. It it survived it the operators. Including those that didn't know what it was. Yeah, yeah. So I'd be showing them on, on the job, you know, and people would be frightened of it. Once you've got the token, it's you fine. own it. But I did, I did purchase the token at four people. Yes. But that's but what I, people I, didn't realise what the but token PFA stands for private flat air. I would rather it intimidate people so they don't use it yes. than be the overly inviting and start fiddling. Because it's privately owned. It's, it's right. flat. It's yeah. a choice yeah. that I prefer. That's what the A stands for. If you're scared of it, you can't use it. You'll only not be scared of it. 
Yeah, 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 y
What? Don't worry, I'll wait, finish it with that scene with me. Yeah, but I want to get it painted, I've got to get it done. Yeah, but let's get the scene. So, I'll put this bit of a... Put glue in, and um, we'll have to plug this in. We'll get a, a damp cloth, a bit of tissue. Hang on, Dave. Paint it after. Got it then, Dave? Yeah, just put a bit of glue in there. Is your, is your milk glue going on, Pete? No, no, just keep going, it won't be a bit hot yet. Yeah. Why are you waiting for that? Because it's going to be wasted in the board. Which board? Yeah, I'll do it now. Yeah, that's good. Can you go a little bit more? No, it's much more. Right, it's off the table now. So you're getting to grips with the wiring here then, Phil? Yeah, just putting the blocks in. <coughs> How many blocks do you expect on this? They're supposed to be quite sparse, will they, on the large uh, layout? Five boards, eight to board, so... Uh, here we go. It's hard to say, five boards, eight, 50, 40, 40 uh, blocks, so... Okay. I don't suppose there's any high density area on this layout for blocks. It's all quite spread out, yeah? Yeah, they're all four blocks. Ish. I know one of these boards is wired up wrong in the first year. Right. So the red I've always put to the outside. Okay. I one, of, one of them has got red to the inside. Okay. Not this one. Just need to remember one of them somewhere. Hold it on. We have power. Hey. Some blue sticks. The most we've ever had is 16 for a base board and that was on the Finley yard. Right. Oh, that's when we have the sea of red. Yeah. Making tracks two. They're going to go back in for laying the eggs. Right. Well, if you need high density boards, the uh, they've got the 32 port version you can have. Yeah, right. still on a 16 then. Right. The old 8-bit 16 boards aren't are no more. All gone. Yeah. Well, I don't have any blank PCBs and they've, they've become obsolete now anyway. Like I say, for automation, yeah. I'm not looking into properly until we get back. No. I've got too it's much a to do. right rabbit hole, isn't it? Yeah. I'm favouring rock rail at the minute, just because okay. it's free. Yeah. When stuff is free, you generally get good tutorials. Mm. Lots of support as well yeah. from the community. The train controller seems to be, used to be the best, whether it is the best, now I'm not sure. But it's easy, easy to get going, I believe. 
Yeah, but all these things you can start easy and then it gets complicated quickly. So, I don't know if it's still the case, but train controller, the person who whose software it was, was a little bit of a yeah character. Yeah. I mean, for me, I would be interested in whichever software you decide how we interface to it. So I'd probably go, um, what's it called, MQ, whatever. MQTT. Um, when I designed the MQTT, I kind of designed it for... JMRI. Yeah, and smaller um, at-home layouts. Mm-hmm. So I gave this a bit of thought and thought, because you mentioned MQTT before, if you go MQTT, ultimately, what I'll build is an MQTT gateway. So you run your CAN bus for everything, mm -hmm. and then I'll just gateway it in. That's, that's what I was planning on doing. Yeah. I don't know yet. Like I say, until we get <coughs> Milton Keynes out the road, mm. I'm just not. There's only so many things I can worry yes, about at the time. I know. The thing with MQTT is, or on on the MQTT, it gives me easy access to IP yeah. and TCP, um, whereas I can't really connect a, an Ethernet LAN card, a LAN board, without extra hardware. I mean, so that, maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. I'll have to look maybe at the it. other thing is I just use an Arduino. You could just <coughs> interface straight to the CAN bus, yeah. straight into the computer. I have no idea. I'll see if, if there's published interface standards. Like with JMRI, I used, what did I use? I used it, a protocol. I mean, JMRI is great, but it's not really set up for automation per se. It works, but it's not, that's not what it was designed for. It was just a question of anything and everything. So some right. of the automation stuff isn't quite as straightforward where the, um, well again, things have changed since the last looked at it. So what, you know, it's been at least five years since I looked at this sort of stuff. Right. Oh, well, it will have changed a lot. Yeah. Because I don't really like automation. Well, what are, what are we building up? It's everything we do on making tracks out is for a purpose. Yes. Automation fine. means you don't need 10 operators or eight. You but, might need two. I meant in general, I'm not over keen on automation, mm. so I've never gone down that road of right. getting it working. Well, I suppose if your rolling stock isn't absolutely reliable, then... Well, yeah, well, we can fix that. That's not a problem. You see, at Chester, there's never any time to stop and fix the problems. No, because we, we're there and then it's live. Yes, and it's all right saying, right, I'll just stop for an hour and I'll fix this bit of track. Mm -hmm. But you're only ever going to make it worse or the same as it is now. Mm. <clears throat> okay, it'll be more reliable, mm. but you've still got trains running now, so you're, not, you're only going to end up in a worse situation... And we are opening in 10 minutes and yeah. nothing's running. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> the show has to begin. The show yeah. must go on. But Chester is it's for the public. It's not necessarily for, for rail enthusiasts. So it's a different audience to, for example, where we're going at Milton Keynes. M yeah, Milton Keynes is very different. <coughs> but Blake Mere will be the similar, I suppose, yes. I'd have thought. There's a lot of interest from the local community in this layout. Sheila keeps getting asked about it yeah. on you know several times a week and um, we've, we've turned into from just being a model railway into a re an annual model railway show yeah or event rather than a show but, uh, <coughs> I'm a big fan of hot glue because it's not permanent yeah it's great you can manipulate it well yeah and A little hot uh, gun, you can take it all off again. You can have another go. Yeah, it's cheap. It's semi permanent glue, it's great. You're making block detector installation look easy. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, this way is slightly different than others because these are all individual blocks where mm. if you buy a what's it called board, um, oh, what do you call them? Is it in the S? J whatever, 20s, 80s, I don't know. SN, 20s, right. 80s, I don't know, whatever. They get like, a, you can connect 16, in, 16 wires in and only one wire out rather right. than 16 and 16 out. But it may, 
Ich sollte funktionierend. Yes, it's the constant battle between how many devices per or inputs per device do you want? You want one, do you want ten? Because if I make eight, people will want nine. If I make twelve, people want thirteen. Yeah, like I said, the most I've used is sixteen. Yeah. And again, I like to have one smart board per baseboard, not sharing between yeah. two or three baseboards. So I'd rather have more with fewer. Yeah. Than fewer with more. Whatever, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Just, I like to fix things in software when it's at the show. I'm not trying to fix hardware. Right. <coughs> so anything you can do to reduce soldered joints or connections across boards, I like. So these are your block detectors installed. Every four feet. So you put them at each end and they go halfway down the board, yes? It's not, again, not the ideal way of doing it, but it works. Well, it works for us, yeah. It works for you. Well, you had 200 on last year, so something works. Yeah, they were great. 198 or something, wasn't it? About two failures of right. all these blocks. But I never looked at why they failed. It's probably just a dry joint somewhere yeah. or whatever. Bagger blocks or block detectors. So they were all the ones I got fiddly of last year. So they've all been used. Oh, they've all been abused. Well, I don't go on about that. I try to keep those as a low cost item, a commodity. Yeah. Um, there are different ways of sensing, as you know, but it just puts the, like you know, with coil craft coils, it just puts the right price through the roof. I love the immediacy of modern adhesives. He says because he pulls down. The um, some of these Chinese hot glue guns get the hot glue a little bit too hot. Right. <clears throat> and wood's an insulator, yeah. It is indeed. Yeah, I see. Again, it's still relatively quick. Faster than epoxy, mm. less permanent, less damage than a screw. And again, if you want to change one, pull it off, yeah. twist it and pull it off. But it's change better it. than, um, what's it called? Like double sided tape. Right. It doesn't take to wood very well. I found fibers. with that, with the, the the standoffs I do, even though they've got tape, you need to put a drop of super glue on. Yeah, it's because of the fibres in the wood. Mm. That's the problem. If you varnish the wood first, it's fine. Or use plastic. Mm. But if you use untreated wood like this, double sided tape doesn't always take. Despite all the accessory bus and stuff that goes on, DCC really is still only two wires. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, that's true. It, then we, it's what we do on top of that because we want more. There is. The, the two wires is a bit of a... It was so... When it originally came out, just two wires. But these are the two wires and it does yeah. work. Yeah. You know, we don't need these blocks in to make it work. The only time it gets a bit more complicated is if you want to separate them all out into zones or districts, which, if it's your own layout, is better because if you have a derailment or yep. a short, everything else keeps going. Yep. But then when we've got children and volunteers operating, I want everything stopped 
to having the two wires isn't a problem. Gets a lot of attention fast. Well, yeah, and if you, if everything stopped, it makes everybody aware that's a problem. Yeah. But that's just my theory. It doesn't always work, but I just don't like trains shorting and stopping, and the other three operators not being aware and firing a straight motor bullet or into something. Together. It'll all be fixed with the automation. Can we say we've got an AI control layout? <laughs> you've all been. If you want to put chat GPT into it, be my guest. It'll turn it into a McDonald's burger. <laughs> yes. I asked it to compute some, um, or to give me a synt syntax for some of the store. Yes, Amazon S3 buckets. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do some things with log files, and everything it gave me broke it. <laughs> I, don't, so. I haven't used it for a while, but the last time I said, condense this paragraph into 100 words, yeah. and it came out at about 500. Right. And I said, this isn't 500 words. I said, oh, I'm very, very sorry. Try this instead. Yeah. And it came out at 400. Yeah. And I said, how many words have you just used? Oh, 100. But maybe maybe we need GPT four, not three point five, but we have to pay yeah, 10, not, twenty a month. I'm, I'm too tight for that. Yeah, I was tempted to try it yeah, just to see what a difference it made. At then the I minute, I've only, I only use it for instructions, just right. condensing text. So. <laughs> so, what is it you're doing this time, Aaron? Same as I've done on all the others. This is for the hidden tensioning system. So I've right. just marked the track sensors on the brass, just the right. lines so we know the exact middle is. Yeah, and then I'm going to push these in to the roughly where it is. I don't need them to be dead on the center. Right. Because uh, I'll need them to solder off center slightly because the wire will be on the other side of the center line. Right. I just want to lower that down a bit if this face is any good guys. Because if I close up that new channel it will grip the uh, A bit better. Put in the wide bit, slide it along so it grips to where you want it. There we go. So there's my centre line. But the tube will be soldered off centre. Right. Because I need the guide rail to go the other side. Okay. The centre line. Place. That's the beginning. Not. This tube and this stuff I can get from D and Q. And it's a lot cheaper and heavier gauge than most of the other stuff we come with. Mm. Like. So those two now are anchored where I want them to be. Right, and then you solder them in, will you? And I'll solder them in, and then drill out the hole. Yep. And put a tap in. Right. To, to thread it for the bits that I've got with me. And the rod that goes through can move. Yep. So I'm sure I've got the bits here. So as you can see, there's the tube. Right. In there. So these are machine at home. Mm -hmm. Four mil rod bar, drill through the center, machine it down, and then tap the thread on. That goes in there. So that's the actual adjusting bit. Very smart. And the other bit is the piston with the spring, which inserts in there. So that, that's got compression, so when the wire's tight, I undo that thread, it backs off against the spring, and it keeps pulling the wire down the centre because the wire goes right through the middle. Right. And it just pulls and pulls and pulls as Very. I unscrew the thread. Mm. This is a double track one, but it's the same version as doing that. That's the sort of ones I would mount underneath the board on a tensioner assembly. Right. So you have two blocks of wood to keep it off the baseboard. 
screw it into the box and then pull the wire that comes off the weights mast through there, tie it off with a solder block on and then I can move that down and it'll pull the weights mast, the wheels will rotate and the wire will tighten up. Right. So this is a versatile piece of kit, vertical or horizontal mounted. No. Oh, okay, very good. And it doesn't make any difference. It can do either. Clamp this one down. on the gas iron to do this. All oh, right. You need the heat. You need the heat <coughs> because it'll it'll sink too fast if you try and use an ordinary iron. There we go. That's that into place. Practically vertical. And I'll show you the tap when I've got them soldered up. Plenty of flux. It doesn't matter how much solder goes on this. Use a blue flame for this because it's right. The iron's no way can depart from this. Don't want to melt anything. Do that properly. Not is it? It gets hot. Job done. Yep, that'll be drilled again. Which I brought with me. There's the 
Like that. Okay. <clears throat> Taps 3.5. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, that goes in there nicely. Oh, very smart. Very simple engineering. Mm. Yeah, this will be a double track version of that, and I'll just cut off the excess. Right. Yeah, the top size is 3.5 mil, and so is the die for that. Right. And I found that to be the the best size for this six mil channel and, right. four, and four mil, uh, three mil. And the reason I put the tube in is to give piston something to bite against, rather than just the thickness of that. Right. It meant then it doesn't really wobble anywhere. There's no tube; you could have a lot of movement. That's not going to break the threads. No. It's not going to less chance of damaging threads. Yeah, it's cutting on the bits. Mm. Yeah. Ah. 
How many of those have you made, you think? Right. Is there a market for making catenary then? Certainly the specialised stuff, there would be, but uh, it's the time of me being able to do it. I still work full time, don't you? So mm. that's the hard part. Um, that's whether I'd make enough to justify quitting a full time job. Mm. And even then, you'd probably reach a limit of how many people want it. It's a very limited market. Probably. Although it has got popular in the last couple of years. And not everybody has the deep pockets it would require to mm. custom make. Yeah, because it's more labour than it is materials mm. to do a project. Mm. Then ready to go on the layout. Good. As quick as that. Let's go and see him get installed. Yeah, you look good. Twenty-four terabytes just disappeared. <laughs> I updated my drives last year. I can't remember what two. I think I went for eight gig drives. Eight, eight tera. Sorry, yeah. And I think. One's got eight in, the other's got five or six in. So don't replicate things I don't need to replicate. Like TV and all that, and movies are disposable. Oh, it's old. It's really old. Um, it's oh, it's an Atom, I think. I get about 100 mega, peak 100 megabytes on my gigabit network. Yeah, so that's on a big file copy, not small files. What are small files like? Uh, the problem with ZFS is it's horrific at deleting lots of files. Right. So I wouldn't recommend it if you've got lots of tiny files to delete. It can take well, days. Well, last time I did, I just took them all in zip file. Right. And just shoved that across. Rather than but, right, if you, as long as you've kept one zip file, it'll treat it as one file. But that's what I mean, yeah. That's what I did last time. Yeah. The problem with ZFS, its advantages are also its disadvantages. And you don't get any choice with um, free NAS scale. You have ZFS or you don't as a file system. Well, I've got no data, I'm going to have a claim. Mm. to pick all the files from it. Right. File. Yeah. The laser uses. To be honest, I'll have to look at it to see what I've done, but I, I replicate my snapshots for hourly for my work. And I do file system file copies as well. It's just a question of what hardware I use now, just because the mm. one I was using isn't working anymore because it's Eight quid, yeah. but then I saw you have to calibrate, and I thought I'll let Cameron repair it for 180 quid. Yeah. Seemed like a bargain.
signals lying around. SD cards are pretty reliable. Yes. The problem is you just fill all your space up. Yeah. When you're filming in 4K, space doesn't go anywhere. It soon gobbles it up. But you know what they say, holiday of a lifetime. I did the last time we went to Small Island. Mm. How long have you been for? Ten nights. Christmas to New Year, basically. Three days before till three days after. Where are you flying from? Manchester. Airbus A380 on the way out. Mm -hmm. I haven't been on one of them before, so. You're getting a chance for the go. Yeah. Is it an hour and a half on a boat? Yeah, it's an hour and a half on a boat. Oh, when you no. Could fly in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But one of us didn't want to get in the small plane. Oh, one of them type, is it? Yeah. It's a tiny seaplane. A seaplane? Not anymore because I'm not teaching status, so they can't, uh, you know, I'm absolved. I'm just a tourist. Not in the old things. What have I made? But I've got to buy a dive computer next month. So I, d I didn't like borrowing one last time. Then I'll get an accurate uh, calculation on my nitrogen loading. I dive on nitrox as well, which is extra oxygen in the air, so it becomes toxic very quickly, but gives you a bit longer down there. Mm -hmm. The sort of diving I do, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Those were the days. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like water at night. Right. I like to be on in the water, not on it. If I'm on it, I can't see what's there, but when I'm in it, I feel very relaxed. Yeah. You just need to... Blend this bit, mm. cut that back there. Yeah. So some bushes down there. Yeah. That corner there to cover up. Oh, here somewhere. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah, it's somewhere. As I was explaining before upstairs, it does quite a lot. All it ultimately, all it does is make it easy for people to use. You don't have to know how it works. Like a car, isn't it? I suppose or a telly. Like a phone. Yeah. More important. Though. Well, they're more like supercomputers these days. So, Dave, what are these uh, on the floor I'm looking at now? When we were at the cathedral, yeah. the lights we had there, they weren't ours. The cathedral hired them in for us. Okay. And they were metal and stiff, you know, um, and they were too expensive, really, for us to hire to go to Milton Keynes. Okay. Because we need, pizza we need about 40, right? Mm. Well, to, to have them 
uh, to buy him off them, they're doing a they wanted a couple of thousand quid, I think. Right. By the time he took everything up. So anyway, so I set to, I measured one up, and we made 40 of these. Right. 20 for the front, and 20 for the fill yard. Okay. Unfortunately, I just can't, I haven't got the height in here to get them on, but what we'll do, we'll put on the Take back of the back seat. Oh, I can't because we haven't got any layout outside. Oh, okay. Are you with me? Yeah. So this is the top where the light goes. Yeah, so the light hangs from here. Okay. The fill's got 40 of them. Okay. Right, so it's one bolt. What sort of light is it? LED. Right. 30 watt. Have you got, have you got one there, Peter? Well, look, if, you can right, do we'll that. After. So they fit on there. Yeah. The wire will run down and we'll pick it up on a, on a lead. But these will, th these will fix to the back scene. Yeah. Right. About every, I, th I think we can do them about every eight, eight foot, something like one that. One to a base. 20, 20 on the front. One at each end and then the other 18 on the back. Okay. Right, so there's two tap. That's handy. Yeah. We've got vertically polarised lighting as well. Eh? Hey? Yeah, I don't know where that come from. Well, it's out of a clip, isn't it? It was over your head. Yeah. That's it. Right. Job well done. Yeah. And these. Ah, for the back seam. Okay. Are they different? Yeah, only in as much as we haven't got a back seam on the on the fill yard. Oh, so they more. So all they'll do, they can only screw to the to the three inch bit. Right. The trouble is, it's so unwieldy. Um, yeah, I can I show you? I don't even know. Should so we upstairs and look at the bulb at the light, and then we can take one with yeah, us. Yeah, we'll take one. Where's all the bulb? All the yeah, they are, Dave. Here. Found them. Yeah. Ah. Right. A lot of bulbs, floodlights. Right. These are them. Sorry, we've got. So these are mains powered. Yeah, the mains powered these. Oh uh, yeah. What the hell? Tight them. Right there they are. Right. So these will fit on there, under there. Right. right. Yeah. We can have any angle we want then. Turn it around because the wire will come over the top, I would think. You know, it'll be on like that. Mm -hmm. They can sort that out. That's not to do with me. So that wire will run down there. And it'll, fit. it'll run on the. I don't know whether we can get it on here. It'll run on the back. It'll fix the back scene there. Right. So it'll be. You, you made know. 40 of those? I've made 40, yeah. Yeah. Did it take long? Uh, took me. I kept a record actually because mm. I knew you might ask me that. Yeah. <laughs> it took me 29 hours. 29 hours. To make 40 of them. Yeah. But they're, uh, Hour and a half each. Yeah. These these, these are triangles took the longest. Yeah. You know, all these triangles. I mean, there's. They feel nice. There's 160 of them. You know what I mean? Everything's multi. Yeah. You know. Well, you're tooling up for mass production. Yeah. Aren't I mean. You? 160 triangles and there's what five pins in each one, so you know you're getting eight, it starts knocking up a bit, <laughs> like 800. <laughs> Brilliant. Pins. Yeah. So yeah. Nice job. They're nice and light them as well. Yeah. What are the you lights know? like? Do they give a nice, nice colour? They're the same as ones. The other okay. Cathedral. Good. Um, 30 watts a lot for an LED, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be bright. Well, that's what there was at Cathedral. You're going to put barn doors well, on. Well, don't forget they're only going to be eight foot apart. I don't know whether we might, you know. I know what Pete will do. He'll say, we'll get there, and he'll say, "Oh, he'll say we need some more." But you know, well, unless, you, unless you're putting 150 yeah. foot scenic yeah. up everywhere. I mean, they had um, to one off. Was, um, what was the order? Uh, under the, had um, ten lengths at uh, 4.2. They got 40 meters of stuff. Right, two v one. You know. Brilliant. Cheers, Dave. So they've cost in actual fact. The timber, and, and to actually get to that stage, mm -hmm. I think they're about three pound fifty. A light, a fitting, a, a fi you know, for that. Then you got the light, which yeah. I think they don't. Well, I think like Phil said, the lights are about seven quid. Right. So for ten pounds, ten pounds, ten or twelve quid. So it's, we got forty of them. Yeah. It's five hundred quid. Yeah. Every, you know, everything's mega. Yeah. It's uh, surprising. Oh, and then we've got to buy the leads. Even your control system's mega, you know. Yeah. Yeah, mega, mega, mega points. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Had your razor blades this morning. <laughs> yeah, so. Brilliant. Well, the, the, the other, you know, 
40 of these and I weighed them. Yeah. They weighed uh, three pound a piece. Okay. So there's 120 of them. So that's yeah. another hundred weight of stuff to cart. Yeah. Everything gets multi, you know. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, yeah. So nice. Good job, Dave. Nice job, then. Cheers. Nice thanks smooth. for that. All right. What have you just done, Aaron? Soldered on the guide rails to the pans when we come in. I always take these out when right. I'm doing that. Yeah. In case any solder runs into the threads, I don't want to solder them up. Right. So I can put them back in now, and if there is any threading issues, I can uh, re-tap it. Very good. So, there we go. There's no threading issues. Solder's not run into the threads. Working as designed. Correct. I found out all the numbers on the chips for all the locos I've got, right? Mm. So everywhere, I, I just happened to think, well, I'll just make a list. And of course, you come, it's what, three years now since lockdown. So when we, and I certainly haven't moved the underground since at least a year before lockdown. Of course, you, you look at it, I know obviously that if it's a low code, but I know, I know the chip number is the same as the loco number. Yeah. But when you come to consists, which consist is it? Then you come to diesels. What did I put on the diesels? And on the underground, I've got two consists. I've got a 2800 and a Hymet double headed on a big, big freight. And I've got two um, class 15s uh, double headed. And, and I thought, well, it's too obvious that I've, I've done it as a 15 because there's a 15, I think there's a 0015 loco on it. So it isn't 15. <laughs> and so then I went, well, what is it? And I come over here and of course it's obvious they were class 82s. Yeah, I, I was, when I, when I was still on the, just as I was still on the radio, the railway, they were built in rugby. Oh, right. Yeah, so I saw them all come out of English electric. And uh, you know, on on running in trials, and they were they were running in on medium sized coal trains between Rugby and Coventry. So you know, you, you, know, you know, my uncle was a driver at Rugby, and so if he if he was taking one out, I could talk my way onto the foot plate as a second man. <laughs> Wear a pair of overalls and off they went. You know, they were the days, weren't they? They were the class 15 diesels. The 15 diesels, yeah. They were the first diesels that had uh, the cab just inwards. So they're not like the 20s with a cab on the front. The cab was just in with the engine. It's like the, well, it, it's the one of the engines. It's the. Um, they got one left, didn't they? Yeah, the yeah, one I preserved, yeah. I preserved it, so oh, these wanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a static <laughs> load bank, and I bought it. It's up at, uh, I, bought, I bought the boat. Where did I get the bogies from? I like to get the traction motors from Ireland. Mm. Off um, the Bay of Peacock locos in, in, in Ireland. I've got them off. One finishes, another one starts. Oh, that's right. <laughs> They said, I thought you'd be relaxing. I went, Dave, yeah. in three weeks we've got to put all of them yeah. together. Ah, I can't imagine. I can't believe I'm seeing the same guy. Dave will yeah. and there's no work to put in. We've been here for the last 12 months. There's <laughs> 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 nothing no again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were all 21 when we went to the cathedral. Mm. <laughs> What's the next project? Putting all three all together. All three? 152 oh, wow. feet. Where? Milton Keynes. Oh, at Milton Keynes, yeah. <laughs> and then we've got to go to, we've got Christmas at Blakemere, mm -hmm. down the road, where we're taking Milton uh, we're taking M, making track three there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to experiment with putting automation on, so that we can go even bigger than 152 <laughs> feet. <laughs> but, I mean, when you go above that, you don't want them. No, you've got to have some automation. Mm. You know, you've got to be able to pull stuff up. Yeah. Otherwise, aren't you in the book, Guinness Book of Records? Yeah. 
<laughs> Me, personally, yeah. <laughs> well, forget it. <laughs> well, we are certainly, we're certainly the biggest model railway show now, by a long, long way. Yeah. I mean, nobody does 65,000 people. <laughs> so that, that makes us the biggest. Mm. And um, that one makes very big. Yeah. 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 So if you work out, we're definitely the biggest yeah. as, a, as a model railway show. Uh, and I think we're the longest double O layout by a long way. Because yeah. even Pendon's only 110 feet, I think. So we're way past that. And in scale miles, Phil, what is what are we in scale miles all the way half? around? Of all the way, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 is it two on the front? It's about two five and a half, about about five miles all the way around. Fair line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's Chris when you need him? It's twenty-four thousand three hundred and eighty-four feet long. <laughs> In real terms, yeah. 24,000 feet. 24,000 feet. <laughs> 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 Times four. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 5,000 something feet to a mile, isn't it? That's it's much easier. It's about four and a half miles, I think. 4.4 .4 miles. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> My schoolboy maths haven't let me down. 4.43. Oh, there you four. go. 4.5, you know, two off it. <laughs> Who, ca who cares about the point two when you're at that size? Well, you're rounding up. <laughs> but it's also it's 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 interesting because um, we're now facing challenges. But I just said to, to we've talked just talking today. We got there's only one big thing to do to join all three together in that's visible. You know, so we can talk about where people have followed us for the last year while we built making tracks two, uh, tr three, because there was something to see. Because every week there was a big change because it was a you, you're doing the whole project yeah. mm -hmm. this time, you're not doing the whole project. You know, Phil's doing all the wiring and the signals. Well, there's nothing really to see because it's all underneath, yeah. and I've only got one section that big to you know to signify. And Aaron's only got three lines, four lines to put masks up on. So you're only talking about 2,000 millimetres of wire. So it doesn't look, yeah. but there's a lot of work in it. Oh, yeah. But it just doesn't look there's a lot of work in it. <laughs> and it's getting hard. I'm finding it really, really difficult. I tell you what, the one thing I'm really chuffed about is... We're starting to see some cracking layouts now on YouTube. I mean, you can see that they've looked at what we've done and they've, you know, they've really started to push the envelope. I mean, some of the stuff is super. Some of the engage stuff now is breathtaking, you know. And some of this TT, Phil's just done some TT for Hornby. It's magnificent. Yeah, well, they've, they've, re, they've, they've done it in real TT, haven't they? It's not like the TT that it's they... Two, it's two and a half mil rather than three mil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it uses 12 mil track. Mm -hmm. so it, it looks better than double uh -huh. And it runs better than that. Looks mm -hmm. fantastic. Show that vibe up. Ask, look at this. Don't show it with your low gauge engine on the top. It gives it away a bit. <laughs> so what we're doing now, I mean, a lot of what we're doing now, we're making available through... Um, Phil. Yeah. Phil does it where we just. Who's building this box? Hornby. 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 